Well, it looks like we're back to square one with the controversy of whether or not Boba Fett is a Mandalorian. In The Mandalorian Season 2 Chapter 16, Bo-Katan, Kreese, and Boba Fett have an exchange of words. The end result may have confused or upset some fans. I will be discussing that conversation and how it correlates to who Boba Fett identifies with today on Star Wars Fanatic. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. My channel recently broke the 1000 subscriber mark and I am so grateful to all of you that helped contribute to this. It legitimized what I am doing here and helps me press forward, so thank you all so much. Also, hit the thumbs up to show your love for what I do here. With that said, let's move on into the nitty gritty. Boba Fett and Din Djarin meet Bo-Katan Kreese and Casca Reeves in a bar to discuss helping them retrieve the child Grogu from Moff Gideon. Right away, Bo-Katan gets a little tense with our favorite bounty hunter. Boba speaks and this ignites Bo-Katan. You are not a Mandalorian. And he responds, never said I was. Then Boba tells Din Djarin that Mandalore was turned to glass by the Empire. Bo-Katan tells him, you are a disgrace to your armor. He rebuts, this armor belonged to my father. Her response, you mean your donor. You are a clone. I've heard your voice a thousand times. A couple more words are said, then a fight breaks out between Boba and Casca Reeves, who is about half Boba's age. Neither come out ahead, and Bo-Katan breaks it up. Enough, both of you. If we had shown half the fight to the Empire, we never would have lost our planet. Looking at both combatants as she says this. So at first glance of this conversation, is Boba Fett a Mandalorian? It can really go either way. Again, when Prime Minister Almec said that Jango Fett was no Mandalorian and was just a common bounty hunter, we knew there could be some lie behind it. But most fans took his word for it. I see the same thing happening in this case. Not that Bo-Katan is lying, but fans that don't like Boba are saying he is not a Mandalorian because of this interaction. So let's analyze the scene a little deeper, shall we? Boba speaks and right away Bo-Katan recognizes his voice. He is a clone. Clones became an occupying force on her homeworld. When Boba said, come on, we don't need them, it enraged Bo-Katan. With the words and his voice, Bo-Katan remembered the clones as an occupying force on Mandalore. Not to mention, she felt insulted by Boba. It would be easy to say, okay, she is, says he is not a Mandalorian. It must be true. But let's take a look at the rest of the scene. Bo-Katan witnesses Boba Fett hold his own against someone half his age that she considers a real Mandalorian. He fights with the same skills Casca uses, Mandalorian skills. She then tells them both to settle down and looks at both of them and tells them they should have used that fight to stop the Empire from taking Mandalore. It's easy to get caught up in words of a scene, but really look at the interaction. Bo-Katan does say he is not a Mandalorian, but that is after she felt insulted by him and she hears the voice of a clone. It could be any clone under that armor, any of the thousands of clones she interacted with, any of the clones that occupied her home world before the Empire took over and purged it. She doesn't know Boba Fett. She may have heard of him, but didn't know him. She may not even recognize his armor due to the new paint job and how different it is from his father's. Even if she recognized the paint scheme, the armor is worn different now and looks new. I'm not saying Boba Fett is for sure a Mandalorian, but there is a strong possibility he is. Remember, his name is encrypted in the armor in the language of the Mandalorians, Mandoa. Not the general language in the Star Wars universe called Basic. It takes a Mandalorian armorer to do that encryption in the armor with a rite of passage required to wear the armor. Well, how about this? Din Djarin is a child of the Watch, Death Watch. Bo-Katan is a former Death Watch member, and Casca Reeves is a Mandalorian Night Owl. They are all protective of their Beskar, yet no one tries to remove the armor from Boba Fett. No one demands the armor return to the Mandalorian people. In fact, 
Din Djarin allowed Boba to leave with the armor with his blessing. Okay, so maybe I am making a case for Boba Fett being a Mandalorian. However, I can see where some would say no. Another point to remember is Boba did admit that he never said he was a Mandalorian. This is true. He did not say he was to Bo-Katan. Before she said that, the only thing he did say was, come on, we don't need them. So technically, he didn't say he was a Mandalorian to her. He also didn't say he wasn't a Mandalorian to her. He didn't really say anything to her. So with Boba Fett not admitting either way to her, her hatred for clones and not understanding it wasn't just another clone under the armor? Yes, to her he wasn't a Mandalorian. Until she saw him fight. Then she addressed Boba Fett and Cosca Reeves when she said they should have fought like that against the Empire when they were destroying their home. Couple that with the fact that no one demanded he remove the armor, no one tried to take the armor from him, the armor was encrypted in Mandoa with Boba Fett's name, and Bo-Katan and Cosca Reeves joined in the quest alongside Boba in the armor. I'm not going to tell you what to believe, but to me, as of right now, he is a Mandalorian. Until they confirm otherwise, at least. One extremist zealot calling him a non-Mandalorian because her feelings were hurt at the time is not enough proof. It happened before with Prime Minister Almec when he dismissed Jango Fett. We see how that turned out. He was lying or diverting attention. The writers of Star Wars know what they're doing. They know they're confusing us and they know they want us talking about it. So that's what we're doing. We're talking about it. Well, that's my bit. I know I made another video a couple of days ago about it, but I wanted to elaborate more on this scene. Decide for yourselves, is Boba Fett a Mandalorian? Look at the evidence for it and against it and let me know in the comments what you think. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. My channel hit a huge milestone this weekend and I am so grateful to all of you for it. Thank you so much and thank you for watching and remember, this is the way, the only way. So as you can see, I've been taking some of my older videos and remastering them, so to speak, making the sound quality better and enhancing the picture quality as well. We also have a lot of newer viewers who may not have seen some of the older videos due to having to search through 400 plus videos. So this gives them a chance to see some of those. Just wait until I get around to remastering some of the old Darth Gerald videos. That should be fun. And by that, I mean, Make fun of me all you want for those. If you haven't seen those videos, I look like I'm trying to copy Hello Greedo. But at that time, I had never even heard of him. The sound quality is horrible, and I was so shy I wouldn't even show my face. Anyways, thank you for your patience with these videos. I'll get back to the newer content soon. I'll also get back to highlighting my favorite content soon. Also, 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 a winner for the Spider-Man figure from Sideshow Collectibles will be announced in the next video. This is Gerald from Star Wars Fanatics signing off and wishing you all great health and happiness. Thank you for watching. And remember, this is the way. The only way.